Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to approach a coding problem in an interview. So when you're solving a coding problem in an interview, it's a bit different from when you're doing it by yourself because the interviewer is judging you on everything you say and everything you do. So it's very essential that you do everything the right way to have the best shot at clearing your interview. Also this video is a part of my placement preparation playlist which is all about how to crack your dream placement. I'll give a link in the description, it'll also appear on the corner card. So do check it out and let's get to the video. So when you're given a problem in a coding interview, when the interviewer is giving you a problem, so the first thing that will start with is a problem statement, right? So the interviewer will either copy a problem statement and put it in the text editor in front of you, or he will say the problem statement verbally, okay? So if he's saying the problem statement verbally, then write it down somewhere. If he's copying it, then no issues. Now, right after you get the problem statement, the most important thing is to ask. Okay, so whatever doubts you have about the problem statement, ask frankly, okay? Don't hold back, whatever you want to ask about the problem statement, ask, okay? Make sure that you clear on the input output, like what is the input of the problem statement? What should be the output of the problem statement? And make sure that you clear about the time space constraints, okay? Like what is the time constraint that your solution should be? And what is the space constraint? Is there any, like something like that? Whatever there is, just ask. Okay, and it's very essential that you clear on the input output and you clear on the time constraint and the space constraint. Okay, so you have to be very clear and very thorough with the problem statement so that you don't have any confusion or misunderstanding afterwards. Okay, once you're clear with the problem statement, once you understand then that this is what I have to do, then the next thing to do is to solve the problem. Okay, now before you write code, what you have to find is an approach. Don't start writing code before coming to an approach. Okay. So if you got the problem statement, then there's two things. One that you know how to solve the problem. So in case you already know how to solve the problem or you feel like you can solve the problem by yourself, then don't just get the or give the optimized approach in the first go. Okay. Start with a brute force solution. Okay. Tell the brute force approach to the interviewer, tell the interviewer the brute force approach and then discuss with him and optimize. Okay. So after you tell the brute force solution, tell why it would not be a good idea, tell why the brute force solution is not working and then focus on optimizing it. Okay, and then focus on how you're optimizing it. Are you using some algorithm? Are you using some data structure? Are you using some technique? Whatever you're using to optimize, discuss with the interviewer. Okay, so to reiterate, if you already know the solution to the problem, or if you feel like you can easily solve the problem, then don't go to the optimization directly. Start with a brute force solution, then discuss with the interviewer to optimize the solution. Okay, now in case you don't know the problem, or you feel like you cannot solve it, then don't panic in that case, don't be anxious, don't panic, but give a naive solution. In case you're not able to solve the problem or you feel like you don't know how it's solved, try to think of a naive solution. Okay, think out loud, give him the naive solution, how you think it can be solved in a naive manner, then discuss with the interviewer to improve upon the solution. Okay, now I've written the word discuss twice because you have to discuss with the interviewer, okay? So a lot of times the interviewer will be giving you hints. Okay, even if you're discussing the naive solution, a lot of times the interviewer will be giving you hints because the interviewer is not interested in the exact solution. He is interested in the way you're thinking. So it's very important that you think out loud. So let me write this here. It's very important that you think out loud whatever you're thinking. Okay, so think out loud and then discuss with the interviewer. Okay. So in case you don't know, just put the naive solution and then discuss with the interviewer, think in the moment and then try to improve upon the solution to the best of your ability. Okay. Once you have a clear approach, once you have a clear approach in your head that, okay, this is how the problem should be solved, then you're good to go. But there's one thing that you need to be careful of. And this is something that a lot of people miss. So what happens? A lot of people find an approach in their head and they go straight into coding it without thinking of the edge cases or the corner cases. So the next thing is be very careful about the edge and the corner cases, okay? Because afterwards, after writing the code, if one edge case is failing, then you cannot go back and change your whole approach, okay? So while thinking of the approach, make sure that you keep in mind if there are any edge cases, if there are any corner cases. So this is very important. You see the four stars here, right? This is very important. Make sure that you have, you cover the edge cases and the corner cases in your head, okay? Once you have an approach, once you've thought of the corner cases and the edge cases, then again, you're good to go. You can start writing the code. Okay. Now, once you start writing the code, something that is very important is that you have to write clean code. 
okay so again this is a mistake that a lot of people make is that they have they write code that is not readable so again like i told you this is different than just solving a problem by yourself the interviewer is looking at your code the interviewer is looking at everything you do so you have to write clean code so what do i mean by that you have to make uh, useful variable names or understandable variable names okay don't use uh, like <clears throat> So use good variable names, use proper variable names and use proper function names, use different functions for different things and make sure that you have correct indentation and make sure that your code is readable. Okay, so you have to write clean code. Once you've done writing the code, then try to dry run the code on a few test cases to make sure that you got everything right. Okay, and one more thing. When you're writing the code, make sure to discuss while coding. Okay, so don't just stop talking to the interviewer and then start writing the code. You shouldn't do it like that. Whatever you're coding, make sure to say to the interviewer what the line of code is doing. So if you're writing a for loop, make sure to tell the interviewer what the for loop is doing. If you're making a function, make sure to tell the interviewer what the function is doing. So discuss while coding or talk while coding. So talk to the interviewer while coding. Okay. And then after your code is done, then the interviewer will probably ask you what is the time and space complexity of your code. So again, this is something that you need to be, uh, you need to compute. So whatever your code is, make sure that you know the time and space complexity of your code. So you should know how to calculate time and space complexity beforehand only. Okay. So after you write the code, the interviewer might ask you to compute time and space complexity, compute that, tell him that, and then that's pretty much it. So to reiterate again, be careful with the problem statement. Make sure that you understand everything that is given in the problem and then think of an approach. If you know the solution, if you know the approach, then give a brute force, discuss with him, optimize. If you don't know, that's all right. Give a naive solution. Again, discuss with him, try to improve. Okay. And think out loud. And then after that, try to think of edge cases and corner cases, then write the code, write clean code, discuss file coding, dry run, and then that's it. You're done. And a lot of times it might happen to you that you're stuck at one place, you know, you don't know how to go forward. You're stuck with a one approach. You don't know how to, you know, solve the problem. Something, something like that might happen to you. So the best thing you can do is be calm in that moment. Let the interviewer know. And the interviewer, like I said, will give you hints most of the time. Okay. So don't lose your calm ever. Don't panic. Be confident, be calm, be collected. And then you'll pretty much be able to solve the problem if you have done enough practice. Okay. So do enough practice and then follow these steps to solve the problem smoothly in an interview. And again, let me tell you the most important thing is to think out loud. Okay. At no point in the interview, you should be just, you know, doing your work by yourself. You should always be thinking out loud. You should always be discussing with the interviewer, what you're thinking, what your approach is, because again, the interviewer is not interested in the solution as much as he is interested in your thought process or the way you think. So that's pretty much it. In case you have any doubts, let me know in the comments. I'll be sure to answer. And I'll be making more videos on placement preparation and how to crack interviews. So do subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. So leave a like and comment. Thank you.